Hi, uh, we are going to talk about a project uh, called fake review detection using machine language and we are going to code it using Python. Uh, machine language is a uh, uh, you know, great concept uh, when you go for Python. Uh, so here we'll be using a Navis Bayer, uh, Navis Bayer algorithm. And uh, so this is basically like, you know, uh, it's an actual uh, real-time data of hotel reviews. Uh, that's what we're going to take. Uh, so uh, here we have just descripted, uh, given description about the algorithm. Okay, so why we are using uh, the classifier basically? So we are using the classifier here for categorizing the hotel reviews as true or fake and positive and negative. So these are the categories we are going to work on. <coughs> so we are going to really identify whether it is true or fake. So based upon the uh, trained data sets. Where do you have the uh, trained data set? Okay, uh, so. So we have a trained label data which we taken from L. So these are the data set basically we use for the training. So the huge data out there. Okay, so we are going to train all the data here and we are going to say that which is fake. I mean, this is a, this is a learning for the uh, program. So whether it is a uh, fake review or is a uh, true review. Okay, so this is a training data and basically this comes from L and that's where you get the research data sets. So Fine. Okay. I'll go back to the descriptions. Okay. So what I can do is like you know, uh, <coughs> uh, we are categorized into different areas. Okay. One is like you know, three data sets. One is a, a trained label uh, uh, data set. So it means what we have three uh, tokens in each lines. Okay. So we have like uh, one is an unique character because you have to identify which is a, a what review and or kind of an username kind of thing. So this is uh, this is like uh, this is the token one and the token two would be like uh, true or false uh, I mean true or fake so and token three will be like positive or negative so we are going to we are going to we are going to identify both you now true or fake and positive or negative so both are different but still we are going to try to understand the sentiment of the reviews and also the authenticity of the reviews so this is the main agenda of this program. So next, uh, what I'm going to do is, you know, uh, I'm, I'm going to use in uh, another data set called, you know, text uh, uh, <coughs> .txt. So that is an unlabeled development data actually. So, okay, so it doesn't have the uh, labels. So the, both the data sets are different. Uh, so in the second data set, I don't have any uh, labelings, okay. So it's like, you know, I'm going to take like around like 320 lines of reviews, fine. So I don't have any labels except, you know, uh, except the uh, unique identifier, okay, the token one because that is needed to uh, really you know uh, tag along which is what is the review and you know who, who has given the review and next we have, we have used one more data set uh, called key so basically with the corresponding labels for the development data okay to serve as the answer key so this is the, this is the answer key actually okay so kind of you can ignore this not not an issue but how the program actually works and actually so we, if we have two uh, two programs for uh, <coughs> for this project uh, one is in uh, uh, Navis, uh, learning uh, you're going to learn the model that's that's the first thing to see any any machine language uh, any machine learning uh, program or an you know, artificial intelligence so we're going to learn it actually so once we learn it you know uh, so we can apply the learning uh, to the uh, to any data set you know of similar nature and you can try to classify uh, and get the results what you desire so that's the concept you know and that's the entire you know essence of this project actually fine uh, moving down you know uh, so how do you run this program so i'll, I'll just uh, uh, show you how to run this program so let me go to the uh, command prompt so i'm going to run using uh, python uh, 3.5 so i have put in a folder called like whatever folder i use my name and uh, so I, I have a uh, folder uh, inside python i'm going to run using the command prompt so this is the first program i'm going to run uh, i'm going to run the uh, learn uh, learning uh, model of that uh, of the algorithm and uh, I'm going to use the trained uh, label set okay fine uh, let me do one thing okay so this program is run and uh, let me show the program what it is so this is the program okay so this is all it is and See what, what's my output in this program? It's going to give me an NB model, okay? And it's going to it's going to give me a uh, model dot text, okay? So that is the input of the uh, classifier. 
So first I'm going to learn it. I'm going to create an output of the uh, learning model. So this is the uh, output of this program and uh, that would be this. Yeah. So this is how it, it seems when you go for after the learning. Okay. Fine. Once the learning is done, so I'm going to classify it. Okay. So uh, how do you classify it? Okay. Here we go. So we have a separate program for classifying it and uh, well, uh, it's it's not kind of similar. It's a bit different. And uh, no, here I'm going to use that you uh, know uh, uh, NB model. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use that NB model. So which I got from the uh, uh, learning uh, program. Okay. I'm going to use the NB model and i'm going to generate an output model okay or output text file so this is this is where your entire output is actually so when you when you talk about this uh, uh classification so this is this all exactly happens actually so i'll go and uh, let me run this program so there was a file name okay let me copy it Okay, and which program you want to call in? Fine, so you're going to call in NB model, right? Text, is it correct? Yeah, hope so. Fine, so I'm going to run this classifying program. So classification is done perfect. Okay, here we go. What, what happens when you go for the output? Okay, so this output is just generated at 9, 10 right now. Okay, so let me see what happens here. Fine, okay. Okay, so here it goes. Okay, you're going to get uh, you're, you're going to see. I mean, what are the reviews are positive and negative? Okay, so this is this is how it works. And uh, what is the data set you're going to use here? Is you know, so this is the data set I'm going to use here. Okay, so the first review would be fake or whatever. Just check it, you can see it here. So this will be the output you are going to just define whichever the reviews are fake, negative, positive. Well, uh, so that's a, that's a small change actually. So you have to use that uh, David or text you know, uh, as an input file. Okay, so that's what we are going to really uh, uh, finalize. I mean, you are going to check the uh, nature of the reviews. Okay, so this is the uh, this is the testing uh, reviews. Okay, so this this is not labeled and it's non labeled. Okay, if you want to have a check it out, you can have a check it out. So nothing is there. There's not uh, labeled, but you have this um, uh, you know, unique IDs. Okay, each and every reviews will have that token number tokens. So this tokens will now will carry <clears throat> will carry forward to the next level. So just check this output uh, in the output. One second, I'll get that uh, and run it again. So this is the NB model, what you saw, right? Okay, and uh, this is the uh, NB output. Okay, so this is what it is actually. So here we have what what you see here. Okay, so here the token IDs and uh, the tokens two and token three. So all the three tokens we are going to uh, uh, now <coughs> classify. So for this, for example, in this review, it's considered as fake and but it's positive. Okay, so it's considered as true but it's negative. So th this is how we, you go ahead and you know classify the fake reviews and you know fake reviews or true reviews and also like you know positive and negative reviews. Okay, fine. Thanks for watching and uh, feel free to contact me uh, if you want this uh, get this project. Thank you.